Rescuers' frantic efforts to reach a two-year-old boy who fell into a deep well have been hampered by difficult terrain. Officials announced on Friday that they were just 10 feet away from digging out a deep chunk in the hillside to create a shaft parallel to the one Julian Roslow is thought trapped in. Rescuers had hoped the drilling would take around 15 hours, but the race against time to save Juland has been slowed by an unexpected rocky patch. There has been no contact made with Juland who fell into the 250 feet waterhole last Sunday in the countryside of northeast of Malaga. Rescuers hope to find him at a depth of 236 feet, where a soil blockage has hampered efforts to save him and are holding out belief that he may be stuck in a separate hole underneath. Police drone pictures yesterday showed the magnitude of the massive operation to reach Julian. Nearly half a dozen mechanical diggers were scooping up earth on the barren hillside above the tiny hole the youngster fell down in the race against time to reach Julian. The bird's eye view offered by the drone also shows the hustle and bustle of the rescue teams and vehicles further down the hillside near the tented village forming the field response unit. One of the drilling machines, described as the most powerful in Spain, was taken off a job on a motorway near Madrid, so it could be used in the rescue operation. Stage 3 of the operation will involve mine rescue experts flown in from northern Spain earlier this week digging out a 13-foot-long horizontal tunnel by hand from the point the drills reach to the 10-inch wide borehole Julian is in. The miners are expected to start their dig around 250 feet down the new tunnel. The same depth as a blockage of sand, earth and rocks Julian is thought to be trapped in or under. A special capsule capable of supporting the weight of two people and oxygen equipment has been created, so Julian can be brought out alive if he survives what is set to be at least seven days underground. Police and private sector experts involved in the extraordinary operation say they are still clinging to the hope the youngster is surviving in an air pocket with water and they can pull off what would undoubtedly be one of the most spectacular rescues of all time. Thousands of well-wishers from around the world have also lent their support by posting pictures of their hands on social media alongside the hashtag Mamanoajulan which in English translates literally as Mayantajulan and messages of encouragement. Julian's devastated parents Jose Roslo and Vicky Garcia, 29, are now staying at a house lent to them by a good Samaritan after being asked to leave the hillside, where they spent most of the past five days for their own safety. The property is near the town of Totalan and close to the scene of the ongoing operation a half-hour drive northeast of the coast of Del Sol capital of Malaga, where the couple are from. The massive rescue operation swung into motion last Sunday afternoon after Julian plunged down a tiny 350-feet borthole as his dad prepared a lunchtime paella on family-owned land.
The hole was made by a prospector at the request of Jose's cousin's boyfriend to search for water. The prospector has told police he complied with the law by sealing the hole after it was made, but Julian's family say it had simply been covered with stones that weren't properly laid. Recalling the moment he realized Julian had disappeared down the borehole as he prepared lunch with friends and relatives including a cousin, Jose told a Spanish TV program earlier this week, I was putting some more wood on for the fire and ran towards him. My cousin was a bit nearer and threw herself on the ground as I reached the orifice. He had already gone. I heard him cry at first, but then I didn't hear him cry anymore. In an interview with Malaga based paper, Sir, he added, My wife went to phone into work to let them know she wasn't going. She was with Yulin and asked me to keep an eye on him as she made the call. He was only a few feet away. I went to get a couple of logs for the fire for the patilla and he began to run. We saw how he fell down the hole, my cousin more than me, because she was closer. Jillian's brother Oliver died aged three two years ago after suffering a heart attack thought to be linked to a congenital heart defect. The boy's grand Reem Garcia has been asking Oliver to protect his little brother from heaven in heart-wrenching messages posted on social media.